So here we are with the Impala 1959. Today we are working on the actual fuel tank. We received a new fuel sender unit. So now we must uh, jack the tank up and remove some bolts. So let's get started on that. So now we're going to take off the fuel straps. There's two bolts actually holding the whole fuel tank in place. So I need to completely take this bolt out. Probably means I won't be driving the Impala tonight. It's on there tight. Well, this might take a while. No, no faster way to do this. Maybe if I spray some WD-40 on the threads, it actually might come out finger loose. But right now it still has a bit of resistance. And I can't, I, I can't do it. I could get a deep socket on a rattle gun or an impact wrench. That would be pretty easy. So I was driving the car today and I probably did like 100 kilometers. So I filled up the tank, maybe did like 200, 300 Ks. So I was like, it's got to run out of fuel today. And I had a jerry can in the back, but the car just didn't run out of fuel today. So um, I kept driving it, made it home, didn't run out of fuel. I was actually a bit disappointed because I really wanted to run out of fuel. Um, because we want the fuel tank to be empty. Uh, let me just put that bolt there. So now we have one more here. So now the fuel tank is loose on this side so we can take, take the strap off. Now we also gotta keep in mind we have the filler neck here. If I can grab the screwdriver. If I grab the screwdriver, I might be able to loosen up the filler neck which is right here. So hopefully this rubber grommet here is loose. Oh, it's leaking fuel. All right, that might come. Realistically, I should undo this top one here as well. I think that'll be a bit better. So the fuel filler neck is holding the fuel tank in as well. So I do have to actually loosen that bolt completely. There we go. She is loose. Now remember to keep your washers, spring washers, and nuts completely orientated. Hmm. Anyway, I gotta remember to put this on before I actually lift the fuel tank up. So everything is looking pretty good underneath here. That fuel tank actually sounds empty. I wonder how much fuel is going to be in it. No, and this is not a hard job. This maybe takes about an hour. It's pretty easy. It's fun. 
It's enjoyable work, completing a task and kind a of project. All right, here we go. So we have one fuel line left on the back, which is the feed, 3 8 10 millimeter output. Boom, it's cracked. So now it's pretty much sitting on the jack. Um, now let's have a look underneath here. So now I'm undoing the feed line that goes to the pre-filter and then it goes to the fuel pump. Oh, of course the hose isn't going to come off. Almost. Whew, she's on tight. I need to get this off. Oh, I might have to cut it. Got it, got it. I just, I just pulled on it really hard. Got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Got it. Bit of fuel. Always make sure you point your fuel line up, so it doesn't leak and drain fuel. Okay, so now we got the fuel tank all loose, remove the straps. So now it's pretty much sitting on the jack. So if I lower the jack slowly, the fuel tank should come down. I'm presuming there's maybe like 10 liters of fuel in there. Okay, ready? Push it back a bit, take this fuel nozzle off. There we go. That's that there. So now the fuel tank should just come down slowly. Yep, here we go. Awesome. Now I'm gonna. Ooh. Oh, there is fuel. Oh, she's heavy. Oh, yeah, wow. Definitely a lot of fuel in there. Shit. I'll go pull it back. I've gotta try to balance it on the jack, actually. Now I'm going to try to pull the fuel tank out. I did forget one more line. And that's the return. Right up here at the top.
So this here feeds back from the EFI fuel system. It used to be carburetor, but now it's a four barrel electronic carburetor. All right, so hose clamp off. Let's see if she'll pull out. Got it. All right, fuel tank's ready to come out. Here we go. There it is, fuel tank removed. So, what we're actually replacing today is we're replacing this unit here, which is the fuel sender. Even though this one does look new, I know from the before that it has a fault in the float and it doesn't read on the gauge. So it just says empty the whole time and it's super annoying and frustrating. So we ordered, we ordered this part here today. This is the original part for 1959 Chevy to 1960. The part number is FTSCHV5860B. So yeah, so this is the new fuel sender. So as you can see, this is the float and that's what actually reads how much fuel you have. So if the tank's full, it's up it's empty now mine has a hole in there and it's just sitting down which just means empty so I don't know how much fuel the car is using so I might give the tank a quick clean before I pull it apart and yeah You can definitely see how dirty it is.
done. So now we've cleaned the fuel tank. So now it's time to take off the original fuel sender and we're gonna install our new one here. So we need to get a little seven mil or eight mil spanner. Six mil. Now let's loosen it up. So I've noticed that a few of these are actually stripped. see for example the thread on this screw here if you have a look it's completely gone so I actually can't use these screws really Let's crack it. I've used sealant last time. So that's it there guys, you can see how heavy that is compared to this one. And now checking this trainer here, it's a little bit crusty. And this ball, watch I'll take it out. now. It's full of fuel. So now let's have a look how much fuel we have in the fuel tank. And let's see if the fuel tank is clean or rusty.
pretty clean. I don't think I need to clean it. Definitely getting high off these fumes. So now I'm cleaning off the ceiling of this metal because I'm going to be putting in a new gasket. So I'm also inspecting the surface. Okay, so I'm going to get some sealant now and a little bit of sandpaper, clean this up, get the new iron gasket. Now I'm testing the threads on all the screws, making sure that I can actually use them. It sucks, I wish I had some more screws to be honest. I might have to go have a look in my workshop. Oh, this one's completely gone. So 
Black Black. Okay guys, well now I'm pretty much going to have to be doing some prep work and cleaning for about 20 minutes. So I'll probably stop the video there and I'll keep cleaning and inspecting this and might have a look if I have any other screws. Clean the threads, sealant, boom, back in she goes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. I gotta keep preparing this. See there? There's about 10 liters of fuel in there. It's pretty clean. I mean, that's just surface rust, but... Yeah, it's clean fuel. Alright guys, stay in touch.